The amazing world of Gumball is amazing for all sorts of reasons. Blue cats, pink bunnies, talking potatoes, but the most amazing thing about the amazing world of Gumball isn't all that it has, it's all that it takes. Gumball is known for its references. It takes from movies, video games, and memes and makes those worlds its own world. Hi, I'm Jacob with Channel Frederator, and today we're here to check out Gumball's amazing world of memes and references, because they're that good. <laughs> Super Saiyan form from Dragon Ball Z in The Others, Season 4, Episode 2. It's no secret that Ben Bocle, the creator of The Amazing World of Gumball, is an avid fan of Dragon Ball Z. It comes as no surprise to us. In the episode The Others, Gumball attempts to harness the power within and screams loudly in the school hallway to the point where his face turns red and his voice cracks. We've all been there. That's not the best part, though. Five episodes later, Gumball achieves this transformation after he learns his sister is a victim of bullying. This goes with the Dragon Ball concept of Saiyans unlocking their super form when they feel extreme levels of anger or desperate need instead of just simply wanting to be one. Man, even Gumball turns Super Saiyan faster than Vegeta. Sorry, buddy. Sailor Moon in The Lie, Season 3, Episode 26. We didn't need it, but we got it, and we love it. For those of you who don't know, Sailor Moon is the Japanese shoujo anime series that follows a young schoolgirl and her transformation into a magical superhero with her artifact, the legendary Silver Crystal. The transformations themselves are one of the most iconic in anime and popular culture and have been recreated in multiple shows like Adventure Time, Steven Universe, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and One Punch Man, just to name a few. It only made sense that Gumball would have a throw at it, and honestly, it's probably one of the best. Why? This transformation involves cheese, bacon, processed meats, and carbs. The power of all four creates the Sluzzlewurst, an icon all its own. Star Wars A New Hope in The Recipe, Season 3, Episode 6. No show is considered cool until a Star Wars reference is made, and thankfully there are plenty. One of our favorites is in the episode The Recipe. The episode is based around the mystery of Anton's respawning, since he got all soggy and drowned in the school pool. Long story short, Gumball and Darwin discover the power of the toaster, a device that holds the power to create an army of Antons, resulting in the creation of Ant-1 and his army. When Ant-1, a bread clone of Anton, turns on the fire sprinklers and destroys the other Anton clones due to their failure as an army, Richard, who is far off in the scene, declares, I feel a great disturbance in the food chain, as if a thousand sandwiches cried out in terror and was suddenly silent. This is a direct reference to Star Wars A New Hope when Alderaan is destroyed and Obi-Wan Kenobi says, I felt a great disturbance in the Force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. May the toast be with you, Gumball. How to Basic in The Traitor, Season 4, Episode 19. If you, like us, have spent countless hours falling into the YouTube rabbit hole, or just wanted to know how to make that cheeseburger pizza, you've probably stumbled upon the internet treasure How To Basic. It's a channel that makes tutorials that usually involve lots of destruction and raw eggs. In the episode The Traitor, there's a scene that begins with Gumball combing his hair and pulling his face upwards. He then makes a huge sandwich with a number of ingredients, from carrots to sushi. He then throws it in the oven, but not before giving the finished product a gentle pet. Our only critique? Not enough eggs. The the way the sandwich is prepared is a straight reference to those popular videos. It has also led many to believe that Gumball himself is actually how to basic. And we can't argue this theory because it makes 100% sense. Kill La Kill in The Fury, Season 4, Episode 37. It would be a real crime not to mention one of the most mind-blowing scenes in television history. What, too much? In the episode The Fury, Gumball's art style changes in the dramatic battle between Nicole and Yuki, much in the style of the popular anime Kill La Kill. The creative team of Gumball wanted Studio Trigger, the studio behind Kill La Kill and Kisniver, to animate the battle, but they teamed up with Studio 4C, who are known for for Take on Concrete and Genius Party, among other works. Despite going with a different studio, the scene has all the similar action shots and aesthetics that Kill La Kill is praised for, and if you're not into the show, you can just enjoy this epic scene for what it is. The Legend of Zelda in The Promise, Season 2, Episode 37. Okay, so there are countless Zelda references sprinkled throughout the amazing world of Gumball. We could make a video just based on those references alone. But let's take a look at this particular one for this video. In the episode The Promise, both Gumball and Darwin flip out over the Tale of Zelmore game release. Let's note that the graphics, the music, and practically everything about the game screams Zelda. This reference is further established when Gumball pulls the Tale of Zelmore CD out of the case, which heavily alludes to Link looting a chest in the 3D Zelda games. While there are many clues proving that the writers for Gumball are all Zelda diehards, one thing's for certain, there's more to come. Also, shout out to the boombox when Gumball whistles the first part of Zelda's lullaby to a squirrel to lure it to sleep. 
sweet, warm nostalgia. Donald Trump in The Vase, Season 5, Episode 15. Gumball isn't the first cartoon to throw their hat into the ring of politics, but they were able to do it and not even get their hat all that dirty as a result. The shout-out wasn't verbal, but anyone who watches some form of cable news recognized that face, no, faces that Nicole makes when subtly encouraging her children to break Granny JoJo's vase. See, the 45th President of the United States, that's Trump, has made some pretty weird faces, especially during the GOP debate in California. Nicole impersonates those faces so well. Some people have even said that it was the single best impersonation ever made in the history of television impersonations. We rest our case. Attack on Titan in The Nobody, Season 3, Episode 36. With Attack on Titan Season 2 release, we can't ignore any references made by popular TV shows. In The Nobody, Gumball and Darwin are locked in their rooms for crimes they did not commit. When they spot a mysterious person in the room, they run after him. Thinking that the suspect may be more afraid of them than they are of the mysterious person, they attempt to run less scary. The result is an ironic failure to humanity foreshadowing its demise in the scenes to come. Alright, maybe it's not that dire, they just crash a car, injure Tina, and damage a truck, but they look like titans while they're doing it. Ugh, they even had the creepy smiles and arm flailing down to a T. Kill Bill references in the banana and the move. If you're a fan of martial arts and revenge sagas, there's a high chance you have both volumes of Kill Bill in close proximity to whatever you consider your DVD player to be at this point. If not, you have unfinished business. Business, my friend. Once you've seen the movies, there's no denying that it's easy to spot references in multiple movies and television series, and The Amazing World of Gumball is no exception. Much of the film's music and noteworthy scenes have been reworked into hilarious cracks, from the iconic whistle in the banana to the lonely shepherd remix in the burden, the callback immediately dramatizes a scene, but in the gumball way. One reference that succeeds all the others is the seven pressure point heart disintegrating technique, as seen in the episode The Move. This is a reference to Kill Bill's five point palm exploding heart technique. While Clayton claims he knows martial arts, he goes a step further and performs the move on Tobias. Tobias even takes a few steps away before collapsing the same way the Kill Bill victims did. While hiding bodies has never really been an issue in Tarantino films, it becomes the running gag throughout the Gumball episode. That is some good filmmaking. The zombie apocalypse genre in The Joy, Season 3, Episode 4. The episode of The Joy is just chock full of various references to works involving the zombie apocalypse, utilizing pretty much every trope you can think of. For instance, Miss Simeon's depressing music is Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, which is a bit of an odd choice until you remember that it's the exact same music from a puzzle in the first Resident Evil game. If that doesn't convince you, there's also the scene of Miss Simeon getting past a horde of joy zombies by acting like one. This is incredibly reminiscent of a scene from 2004's comedy horror classic, Shaun of the Dead. Not to mention that the use of a handheld camera perspective is a whole genre of horror film in and of itself, and also used in such zombie films as Quarantine, Wreck, and Diary of the Dead. And there we have it. I'm Jacob, and thanks for watching Gumball's amazing world of memes and references. Did you like our choices? Do you want to see more? Comment below and let us know. We have new videos dropping every day, so make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to smash that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. And remember, Frederator loves you.